Hey guys, Alexander here, and in this video, I'll be introducing you to the negative binomial distribution. So let's get started. The negative binomial distribution is a distribution that is often used for modeling the number, number of trials to get our successes. So what I mean by this statement is that we are modeling the number of trials until we observe the Rth success. As the binomial random variable counts the number of successes in n independent Bernoulli trials, so too does the negative binomial count the number of trials till the Rth success for R independent identically distributed geometric random variables. So the negative binomial distribution can essentially be thought of as the summation of R independent identically distributed geometric random variables. Keep that in mind because we will be making use of that fact later on to derive the moment generating function for the negative binomial distribution in a later video. So if, if this distribution that we are modeling is modeling the number of trials to get the Rth success for our IID geometric random variables, then we say that this random variable X follows the negative binomial distribution with R being the number of successes we wish to observe and P being the success probability. The probability mass function is given by X minus one C R minus one times P to the power R times one minus P to the power of X minus R. And note its support for starts from x equals to r the number of successes because if we need to have three successes occurring we're going to need a minimum of three trials to get those three successes so our support always starts from the from the number of successes that we require okay and then it counts up from r to r plus one to r plus two the expected value for a random variable that follows the negative binomial distribution is R over P. And we'll remember that the expected value for a random variable Y that follows the geometric distribution is one over P. So it gives credence to the fact that, in fact, if we let Y, if we let X be equal to the summation from I is equal to one, 2n of yi, where each yi is iid geometric with the parameter p, then we know that x is going to follow the negative binomial distribution with r. Sorry, this should be r. So I mentioned from i is equal to 1 to r, then we know that x will follow the negative binomial distribution with p being the success probability. So again, if we have x, which is the summation from i is 1 to r of yi, where each yi is an iid geometric random variable, then x will follow the negative binomial distribution with the number of successes being r and the success probability being p. Okay, so given those facts, we can work out the expected value of x. The expected value of x is going to be the expected value of the summation from i is 1 to r of yi. And we know that this is, and since each of these yi are iid geometric, we know that this is simply the summation, the expected value of the sum, it's going to be the expected value of the summation from i is 1. 2r of 1 over p, which is equal to r over p. So that's how we can derive the expected value of the bin negative binomial distribution by using its relation to the geometric distribution. Okay? So the variance of x is given by r times 1 minus p over p squared. So that concludes the basic properties of the negative binomial distribution. It can be written as the summation of R 
IID geometric random variables and in fact the geometric distribution is a special case of the negative binomial distribution. If we set R to just be equal to 1 then we arrive at the PMF of a geometric random variable. So let's look at an example of, of the negative binomial distribution. Let's consider a sequence of flips of a fair coin. So since we have a sequence of flips of a fair coin, we have the probability to see a head is equal to a half, and the probability of seeing a tail is also equal to a half. So let's start with three flips. We want to have the third success being on the third flip. So we want three successes in total in three flips. There's only one sequence that can generate that, which is heads, heads, heads. And that's probability of occurring if we assume each flip is independent, which it should be, then it's going to be 0 0.5 to the power of 3, which is an eighth. Well, we can also do this just by using the PMF of the negative binomial with the success probability being P. This is P. And the number of successes we require R being equal to 3. So we will use the probability mass function and we will go plug in x minus 1 becomes 3 minus 1, so it becomes 2 choose 2, which there's only one way of doing that, times 0 0.5 to the power of 3. So it's an eighth again. So these two correspond. So that tells us that we are correct. Now, let's look at what is the probability that the number of trials until we reach our third success is 4. Well, clearly we see that the last success has to occur at trial 4. The third success has to occur at trial 4. So that leaves us with two, two heads and one tail that we need to arrange in these three slots. And the way we do that is 3C2. So there are three such sequences. And each trial independently has a probability of generating a head or a tail with, a, with 0 0.5. So we have 3 times 0 0.5 to the power of Four, which is 3 over 16. Now let's go use the PMF of the negative binomial distribution. We simply say x minus 1, x is 4, 4 minus 1, choose 3 minus 1, times p to the power of 3, times p to the power x minus r, x is 4 in this case, and r is 3. So we're left with, this simplifies to 3c2 times p to the power of 4, 0 0.5 to the power of 4 and we find that this is 3 over 16, which corresponds to what we have done here. So let's look at the last set. Here we want the third success, the third heads, to appear on the fifth flip. So that's the same as saying, what's the probability that x is equal to 5 if x follows the negative binomial distribution? Well. The way in which that sequence is generated is any one of these six sequences will, will reach that outcome. So, and each of them have the same probability of 0 0.5 to the power of 5 of occurring. So it's 6 times 0 0.5 to the power of 5, which is equal to 3 over 16. Now, we can see if we have to write this out by hand and think of all these sequences, it becomes quite tedious as the number of sequences increase, as the length increases. That's why we have the negative binomials probability mass function, because we know that the probability that x is 5 is going to be 5 minus 1, c3 minus 1, times 0 0.5 to the power of 3, times 0 0.5 to the power of 5 minus 3, and we know that this resolves to 3 over 16. So this is an example of how we use the negative binomial distribution to model the number of flips until we see the rth success for flipping for uh, consecutive flips of a coin where each trial is independent of the previous one so some last words on the negative binomial distribution we can see that its moment generating function is given by p e to the t over 1 minus 1 minus p times e to the t all of this to the power of r and you'll see that this is essentially the moment generating function of a, of a geometric distribution 
simply to the power of r. So it's kind of like we are having r independent geometric distributions that we are adding up together or we're putting and thus means that the moment generating function is going to be to the power of r and we see it still has the same validity as the geometric distributions mgf it has to be for t less than negative the natural logarithm of one minus p and if if you don't recall how this was derived this result here for the geometric distribution i recommend you check out the video that I will link um, covering the geometric distributions, moment generating functions, derivation. So, just the last example find the probability of waiting till the fifth coin toss to see three heads for tossing a fair coin. So, that is the probability that x is equal to 5. And we know that that's going to be x minus 1, c, r minus 1, times p to the power of. R because we want R successes times 1 minus P to the power of X minus R. And indeed, that is the probability that X is equal to 5. We've substituted in all the values for X, P, and R, and we find the answer to be 3 over 16. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has given you a, a good introduction of the negative binomial distribution and that you can see how it is actually used and how we implement it. To, to count the number of trials until the probability of the number of trials until the R success occurring. Thank you very much for watching. Boer Commander out.